Hi mga kanayan. So, this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. So, So, our topic for today is all about the order of operations, no? O, ito yung tinatawag nating PEMDAS, no? Yung PEMDAS, no, stands for the P for parenthesis, E for the exponent, M for the multiplication, D for division, AS is addition and subtraction. So, Una mo nating tatalakayin is the what is the order of operations. So, so ito yung order nila. Dapat ipapriority nyo mula left to right, no? From left to right. Pero meron diyang sa order of operation, no? Meron diyang uh, dapat na sundin, no? Na method para hindi kayo talaga nagkakamali pag may order of operation na. So Okay, so let's start, no? Punta muna tayo sa multiplication and division. Ito yung dito, dito yung mas lag na lilito, eh, no? Sa multiplication and division. Kapag meron ba tayong example, no? 15 divided by 3 times 5. So, 15, ulitin ko lang, no? Divided by 3 times 5. So, Ano yung nanguunahin natin dyan, no? Kasi nakalagay dito, PEMDAS, no? Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, alin ba ang tama pag sinagutan natin yan, no? So, 15. So, unahin muna natin yung multiplication, no? Kasi ito yung nakalagay, no? Multiplication. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Then, divide. So, 15 divided 15 is equivalent to 1, no? Kung unahin natin yung, uh, kung itong multiplication, unahin naman natin yung division, no? 15 divided 3 is 5 times 5. So, equals yan sa 25. So, versus, no? So, alin ba talaga yung tama? Sino ba talaga ang tama? Is it 1 or the number ang um, the answer is final answer is 25. So sino ba talaga yung tama? No? So ang tama diyan is the 25. No? Hindi porket na nauna yung multiplication dito. Ay eh, multiplication na ang uunahin niyo, no? So or yan eh, no? Multiplication or division from left to right. Kung sino mauna, yun yung una mo kukumpyutin, no? <clears throat> kung nauna yung division, I compute mo na yung division kung nauna yung multiplication from left to right. I compute mo na yung multiplication. So ito yung tama diyan, no. Na gets. So tingnan natin sa naman na uh, addition and subtraction. So sa addition and subtraction, example, no. 4 plus 9 minus 3. Ulitin natin. 4 plus 9 minus 3. So unahin muna natin yung addition, no. Pag nag-add tayo dito, so, 4 plus 9 is 13 minus 3. So, equal, equivalent yan sa 10. No? Dito naman, 4 plus 9 is, uh, sorry, minus muna. So, 4 plus 6. So, 4 plus 6 is equivalent to 10. So, parehas lang. So, ibig sabihin, no? In addition and subtraction, kahit sino uunahin nyo. No? Kahit Kung mauna yung plus or minus, or mauna yun yung minus, uh, susunod nyo yung plus, kahit ano doon, no? Basta, andaan nyo, no? Sa multiplication and division, kung ano ang mauna from left to right. Kung nauna si multiplication, unahin si multiplication. Kung nauna si division, no? Unahin mo yung division from left to right. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, no? So, 
tatandaan nyo, no? It's a matter of, manner of, of ano, prioritization, no? So, ang papriority natin, from left to right. Kung mauna yung, unahin natin yung parenthesis muna, then exponent. Tapos, sa multiplication and division, no? Either sa, sino sa kanila ang mauna, no? Then, addition and subtraction, kahit sino ang mauna sa kanila. Basta, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So, let's have an example na. So, example number one. So, in example number one, no? So, seven plus six times four. So, seven plus six times four, no? So, yan ay thirteen times four is equivalent to fifty-two. Tama ba? No? So, yan ay mali. O naman, naniwala ka kagad sa akin, no? So, wrong yan. Bakit? Kasi, ang ginawa, ang ginawa ko rito, no? Nag plus muna kagad ako, pinalas ko yung 7 plus 6, which is wrong. No? So, dabil sa order of operation, no? Kailangan, mauna muna is either multiplication division bago ka pumunta sa addition and subtraction. So, ang tamang solution dyan ay 7 uh, plus multiply mo muna yung 6 and 4 which is 24 is equivalent to 31 sa hmm. kuha ba? No? so kung nakuha to like naman yung video na to so let's have uh, let's go to example number 2 so in example number 2 no? so 48 uh, divided by 6 times 2 plus 7. So, uunahin natin, no? From left to right. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo. Nauna yung division. So, magdi-divide muna kayo. No? Hindi ibig sabihin na multiplication, eh. Ah, eh, multiply mo kagad to. Hindi. Mali yun, no? So, from left to right, division muna. Mag-divide ka, no? 48 divided 6 is 8. Then, times 2 plus 7. So, saka mo, i-multiply yung 8 times 2, which is the 16, no? plus 7 is equivalent to 23. Nag-gets ba? Okay. Next, number 3. So, in example number 3, no? so, that is 3 times 12 divided by 4 minus 9. So, mumultiply <coughs> from left to right, multiply muna tayo which is 36 divided by 4 minus 9. So, yan ay magiging divide nyo muna 36 divide 4. So, division mo muna mauna. So, 36 divide 4 is 9 minus 9. So, equivalent yan sa 0. Okay, no? So, punta tayo sa example number 4. So, example number 4, uh, 2 raised to 3 minus 5. So, ngayon, meron na tayong exponent. No? So, exponent, yan yung maliit na number na nasa taas. So, ang ibig sabihin ng 2 raised to 3 is you multiply the 2 ano, to itself 3 times. No? So, yan ay magiging 2 times 2 times 2, no, minus 5. So, 2 times 2 times 2 is equivalent to 8 minus 5. So, yan ay 3. So, number 5. So, number 5, uh, 36 divided by 3 squared or 3 raised to 2. So, ganyan nga din, no? Huwag ka muna magdi-divide. So, exponent muna. So, ang exponent natin is squared. So, magiging 36. Madali lang, no? Divide 9. So, 36 divide 9 is equivalent to 4. So, madali lang kadali. Madali lang. Mamaya may mga parenthesis na. No? Number 6. So, example number 6, uh, that is 3 
times 2 raised to 4 minus 10. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? Multiply ito. So, unahin muna natin yung exponent. No? So, 2 raised to 4. So, ibig sabihin, you multiply 2 to itself ng apat na beses. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. No? 2 times 2 times 2. Apat na beses. No? So, yan ay merong 16. Uh, 3 times 16 minus 10. So, ano ba yung 3 times 16? 3 times 16 is 48 minus 10 is equivalent to 38. No? So, ayan yung sagot. No? So, napakadali lang. Basta kung alam mo yung order ng operations. So, punta na tayo sa example number 7. Ang number 7 natin ay 180 minus 2 times parenthesis na 2 plus 5 raised to 2. No? So, PEMDAS, uunahin muna natin yung P which is the parenthesis. So, ang unay mo rito yung may mga parenthesis or bracket. No? So, 2 plus 5, yun ay magiging 180 minus 2 7 meron yung grace to 2. So, what is 7 squared? And 7 squared is 49. No? 7 times 7 is 49. So, 180 minus 2 times 49. So, what is 2 times 49? That is 180 minus 98. So, 180 minus 98 is equivalent to 82. Gets nyo ba? Okay. Let's have an example number 8. So, this will be the last. So, in example number 8, and I 425 divided by 8 minus 3 raised to 2. Again, no? So, ang gagawin natin dyan ay parenthesis muna. So, 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 squared divided by 425 then, 425 divide 5 squared is equivalent to 25. So, 425 is equivalent to 425 divide 25 is equivalent to 17. Okay. So, sana natuto kayo sa video na ito. No? So, don't forget to like, share natin sa iba. Baka may mga tao na nangailangan ng ganitong kaalaman. And then, don't forget to subscribe. So, salamat, no? So, good luck, soldier!